Hi, everyone. I'm Cheryl Butler, and you're listening to the Mighty Mommy's Quick and Dirty Tips podcast, which will help make your life as a parent a little bit easier and a lot more fun. Welcome. Today's episode is number 398, Five Easy Ways to Take Care of Yourself as a New Mom. Because it's easy to forget self-care when you're all wrapped up in your brand new baby. I waited a very long time to enjoy the title of mom. After six years of infertility and the blessed experience of adopting a beautiful newborn baby girl, I finally achieved my dream of motherhood. Once I finally became a mom, I immediately morphed from the life as a carefree young woman who regularly visited the salon, went shopping for fashion accessories other than bibs, and could enjoy eating a hot meal with a glass of wine to someone who forgot how to shave her legs, thought shopping for items like two-ply toilet paper and cold cereal was pure decadence, and admittedly considered going to the convenience store for a gallon of milk a good time. Finding time for yourself after you become a new mom can seem near impossible, but if you don't learn how to find a few quiet moments for yourself now, you could be setting yourself up for failure. Mighty Mommy shares five ways to squeeze in a few minutes of some much-needed alone time, now as a brand new parent and for years to come. Finding time for yourself after you become a new mom can seem near impossible, but if you don't learn how to find a few quiet moments for yourself now, you could be setting yourself up for failure. Mighty Mommy shares five ways to squeeze in a few minutes of some much-needed alone time now as a brand new parent and for years to come. Tip number one. Walk this way. Whether you had a regular exercise routine before your pregnancy or never set foot in a gym at all, establishing a routine soon after your bundle of joy arrives will not only help you regain your pre-baby shape, but it will also help you boost your energy levels. One of the easiest ways to do this is to put your sweet baby in his new stroller and get out and walk. When I had my babies, I grabbed a pedometer and I set a goal for myself to move more than the required 10,000 steps per day that the fitness experts were touting. Today, Fitbits and loads of exercise apps are all the rage, so there truly is something for everyone. Not only will walking each day help you get back into shape, but you'll also be creating some very important quiet time to clear your mind. I would use this time to plan meals for the week, create my important to-do list for both work and home, and best of all, I just would love to spend 20 or 30 minutes of alone time with me, myself, and I. Tip number two, leave the house. When I first became a mom over 20 years ago, I somehow felt the need to become a prisoner in my own house. I equated motherhood with the need to have a spotless home as well as prepare five-course meals every night. But I was wrong about one thing. The sign of being a good mother wasn't how many loaves of homemade bread I could produce in between dozens of diaper changes. Caring for my baby and my family with a heart full of love, all while staying connected to myself and the outside world, was equally important. Even if it's a quick trip to the grocery store or the post office with baby in tow, this will help you feeling connected to the outside world, and it will also get your baby used to being outside in the real world. Yeah, it does take extra effort to pack up your baby's gear for an outing, but when you get into the habit of leaving the house on a regular basis, you'll get to experience new things and new places and meet new people that you wouldn't be able to if you were stuck at home. Tip number three, get into spa mode. One of the most relaxing, enjoyable, and therapeutic gifts you can give yourself as a new mom is to visit a day spa. Several hours of a decadent facial hot stone massage, or a glorious foot rub and pedicure can knock the new mom blues right out of the park. Sound like a pipe dream? Even if a decadent spa treatment doesn't fit your family's budget, don't worry. You can still take advantage of a similar yet splendid experience if you condition your new mommy mindset into spa mode. First, decide on one night each week that you will lovingly devote just to pampering you. Get your spouse or partner on board so he or she can help care for the new baby and the rest of the family while you recharge your very important parental battery pack. Whether you slate an hour for a hot bubble bath, a hot oil treatment for your tresses, or, you know, just 30 to 60 minutes of solitude 
with a cup of hot tea or a glass of your favorite vino. One of the easiest and most delightful ways to spend some quality time with yourself is to schedule an appointment with yourself to do absolutely nothing but practice self-care. Tip number four, get reacquainted with story time. Whether you're the parent of a newborn or college kids, there is always something new to learn in the world of parenting. Head over to the library or your favorite bookstore and select a great read that can help you learn some new parenting concepts. And if you're like me and just don't have as much time to read as you might like, many choices are available as audiobooks on audible.com. Two of my favorite parenting titles are The Five Love Languages of Children, written by Gary Chapman, and The Blessing of a B- minus by Dr. Wendy Mogul. Get into the habit now of stashing a book in the car to dip into during those carpool moments or if when you just need a quick escape from the laundry and dishes and have to cruise out to the store while your baby is sound asleep. You can spend an easy 15 or so minutes enjoying your favorite read, which can easily re-energize you so that you can take on the rest of the day with ease. And don't forget, check out audible.com for the latest new titles. And tip number five. Have grown-up play dates. My biggest regret when I first became a new mom was thinking I was way too tired or busy caring for my baby to stay connected with my girlfriends. With today's hectic lifestyles, it seems that our friendships are often placed on the back burner. But what many of us fail to acknowledge is that a friendship can help you handle the best and worst of life, causing a reduction in the amount of stress and isolation that you feel on a daily basis. When you do have a little more time, pick up the phone and give that friend you haven't talked to in ages an old-fashioned telephone call. Retro, I know. Just hearing one another's voices can lift you both 10 feet off the ground if you're feeling a little low or are stuck in a rut. Don't wait for a major reason either, like somebody's 40th birthday bash or finally getting your child toilet trained to head on out for a special celebration. Grab your calendars and pick a date this month to celebrate your friendship. Find a good flick that's playing at the theater or organize a game night complete with snowflake martinis during the winter. Or have a potluck dessert bar and just sit on the couch with your coziest sweats and eat, drink, and be merry. My friends and I do this at least once every couple of months. And if some of our group can't join us, we shoot some video of ourselves and send it to them via Facebook. This lets them know we're thinking of them and that we wish they could join us but also that there will definitely be a next time. Friendships offer a strong source of support and comfort to busy moms. They can help boost self-esteem and good spirits, and they provide a much-needed distraction from daily chores and family responsibilities. So don't let your friendships go by the wayside. How do you enjoy some alone time as a parent? Share your thoughts in the comments section at quickanddirtytips.com slash mighty-mommy or post your ideas on the Mighty Mommy Facebook page. Be sure to sign up for the upcoming Mighty Mommy newsletter, chock full of practical advice that will make your parenting life easier and more enjoyable. Wishing you lots of joy with your new baby and your growing family. Thanks for listening, and until next time, happy parenting. 